Hi Taurus, this is your monthly tarot reading by M for the month of March 2020. I will draw four cards for you and then clarify with another four. So we're going to have like two cards per week. First, Eight of Cups, and then the Tower, and then Ace of Cups, sweet, and then Ten of Cups, hmm. very nice. Influencing energy this week, Page of Cups, all right. Some offer, some news, something that makes you feel feel good. It feels good. Bringing news about money, about prosperity, whatever is is something that is on your satisfactory, on some feeling feeling good. Page of Cups, a bit unstable. All pages are like that. that those energy very kind of unstable. But uh, yeah, it's a page. Maybe some news you receive as well. It's a messenger. Let me go with the clarifiers. Then we're going to talk details. So Eight of Cups paired with Six of Cups. And then the Tower card <clears throat> paired with Knight of Swords. Very forceful energy. Now Ace of Cups paired with Two of Wands. Now, Ten of Cups paired with Nine of Swords. Influencing energy, the Empress. Yeah, as I said, this feel-good moment <clears throat> that you have with good news, uh, very kind of shallowish, um, nothing, nothing, there's no depth in there. Maybe you're dealing with a child. You know, if your mother, you're dealing with the child. Maybe you're expecting child. That kind of energy for those that are expecting, that have children for mothers. It could be that this reading could relate to them as well. Um, now, with the Empress card, this energy of being very stable, feeling, having this motherly feeling, understanding your wealth, understanding that you're in a good position, you are in a good situation and you feel good about it, you understand that, you understand moment of your life that is really abundant, doesn't matter it, uh, 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 what uh, is amount of money, what house you're living in, you, your feeling that is just fine. It's all good and it's going to be good because this one is pregnant. It's seeing in the future, brings good things in the future. It will be good. It will be prosperous. That's what you understand in here. Maybe the news that you received or dealing with children or something. That kind of um, easygoing energy, something, you know, kind of nice, um, chatty, sweet energy. That brings you into this situation, to this into this uh, um, emotional state, that influencing this month. Now, your first week, eight of cups, six of cups. Pay attention, both of these are kind of turn uh, away from you. This one looking at another person, another one looking in the distance, moving forward in the dark, in the night. Something that you want to leave in your past. It is nice. You don't see these things that you're going to leave. <laughs> it is Eight of Cups behind you, standing straight. The Six of Cups here, standing straight. Every All your feelings are fine there. But it's a past for you. You don't want it anymore. It belongs to past. Uh, you, you had all experiences, emotional experience you could have out of this situation. You could have everything, but you know, you have to move forward for something else. You have to move. So some, it's some kind of a closure there that you want to put in your past. It is kind of that you feel a bit nostalgic, a bit sad. Both of these cards, 
uh, um, have this a bit um, some kind of sadness a bit of uh, quiet sad uh, um, nostalgic energy but there's nothing disharmonious there it's all still fine because you know your way forward it is what must be you have to move forward understanding that you have to move forward this one as well there's no misunderstandings here you know yourself you have to it wasn't enough it stays in the past that kind of energy that you have dominant in your first week of March. We will definitely in the weeklies uh, uh, and weeklies day by day have more more details for this week but it is a very emotional one for you. You definitely leaving things behind not in a negative way. It's not in a negative way. You will remember all of it one day with fondness. It's going to be your fond memories but but you have to move forward. It's not enough. Somewhere else you, you have to fulfill yourself. Now the second week of, uh, of March. With the Knight of Swords, it's your decisiveness. That's you decisive. You are, this is action card, mental action, intellect in full force, working 24-7. This one is mental force, it's decision, it's news, it's communication, conversations, it's arguments even, fights, argue, you know, a, a verbal, that's all there. With the tower card, perhaps I think you initiating this tower, I think that you're closing down something, in the, the closing down, you're leaving behind something and in a way, in a good manner, in a, uh, in a full understanding that things have to close down and so and so. You have to finish one part and start another part in your life, another cycle is coming. That's kind of, that's kind of understanding in here. But here, it is the same kind of... Um, um, same moments that we're supposed to explain, same situation that you're closing down some chapter in your life. But look at this. Is it something else now that you're uh, uh, closing down that you want to finish, but in a completely different way? Maybe now we have this first part of your month, this first two weeks, that something have to close. Something that closing, which is your emotional attachment. And you're moving away from there. It's and it's a first week. Now the second week tells me this is something. Whatever it's maybe another group of people. It's maybe perhaps another completely different situation that you're dealing with in a second week of of uh, uh, March. But your decision to do that, you doing it, you uh, instigating, initiating, you are. Uh, uh, um, bringing this lightning force, you shaking the ground of this tower. You don't want it anymore. You built it. That's your tower. You built some part of your life, some situation that was um, in a shaky ground. It didn't have foundation. You really kind of very, it was imaginative. And you understand it now. You said, I'm not <laughs> going to have it anymore. You are shaking it down. That's my feeling that you kind of closing down two different situations. One in a very harmonious, a bit nostalgic, a bit sad way, very quietly, very nice, friendly. Now this one, you forcing down. This situation, that is something you say absolutely never again. This is mistake. This was mistake. I don't want it. Did you find yourself a bit lonely? Did you build your life when it isolates you from another, from other people? Uh, um, whatever. This often it's loneliness. This tower. Over in general, some situation was built. You build it on on the uh, foundation that were not really, not real, not stable, and you're breaking it down in the second week of. March, that kind of energy that comes very forceful, mental, your decision, decisive, don't want never again. Somehow you, as I said, I don't think it's the same uh, um, 
situation i think it's a two different situation that you're closing down that you're finishing with that you're kind of cleaning up your path you're moving forward towards something ace of cups in here ten of cups i'm loving it so this half it's kind of you're getting the root of this debris from last year from you know from from maybe uh, not just last year maybe from from your past doesn't matter how long back you uh, uh, this takes you but you're closing down and it's i as i said two different situation i see it that way it could be different for different uh, people anyway let's move forward then your third week much calm <laughs> look at you <clears throat> third and fourth week Okay, we're going to discuss this one. <clears throat> I have to have a little bit of water. Now, Ace of Cups. Lovely energy by all means. Now, I'll tell you different means. <laughs> Ace of Cups, it's when this water from this cup is flowing out. It's uh, so overfilled. And it's on in this in this uh, 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 card, it flows in and out <clears throat> from above it's kind of you cannot dif differentiate is it water going up and down <laughs> you see what i'm saying it's beautiful beautifully uh, 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 depicted energy in here ace of cups now often when ace of cups comes i'll, I'll start first with an, uh, this a little bit of negative not let me explain myself ace of cups when it's negative flowing when we when we crying full of emotion this is full of emotions and we are full of emotions when we cry we cry some sometime when we say that something is finished we closing down but we closing down there is always so much of happiness that comes further closing down cry it off it's always good meaning that now flowing a uh, uh, feeling up this cup again is with love remember when you uh, falling in love or whatever when your child is born when you fall and it's flowing out of you full of emotion full of love that's the cup again ace of cups something like that comes your way for these two of wands that you feel that you want to start, you start something, something that you put foundation, it's a partnership, it's support, it could be support, but it's all so loving, so good, so much of potential there. It seems to me you've got something on your mind that you started, it's either potential, maybe another person, maybe somebody that you support with love to people doing it together in partnership in love happily ever after <laughs> very nice then of cups next to it i love it but anyway let me carry on with this one two ones it could be that you starting something that is your new career new person new partnership but you, and you already put some foundation you're waiting to decide some more about it and this ace of cups it kind of tells you there is so much of potential but you're indecisive this uh, third week uh, um, of, of march you see potential and you're loving it this is beautiful it's it's uh, um, brewing within you about this potential if you help another, you're doing it with so much love. If you're supporting, if you're looking for new, uh, it could be something from overseas that's coming. Whatever it is, two of wands is partnership stability. First, first platter of decision that you would like to do something. You want to do business. You bought your premises. You, you uh, rent these premises. You bought your computer. Uh, or, or something you establish something already you haven't made any decision how to move forward with it his uh, one uh, uh, foot is there another one is um, through this door but he's not he hasn't uh, decided yet is he going through this door or he stays there perhaps he needs he's got something uh, in the past behind that is very supportive this Ace of Cups can go two ways there. 
Do you have something behind that you will have so much and you're still unable to leave and move through this door and go into the vast, Amen. wide world? Um, or it's something that is in front of you that you uh, couldn't decide that is fulfill you, something that you see, that you're supposed to go for, something that is your calling. Perhaps for some of you it's going to be in your past, for some of you it's going to be in your future, but that feeling that you have within yourself, that whatever you've got established is good for you, it's happily, something that is going to, it can take you somewhere, that kind of feeling, it can take you further. As I said, third week of March, it feels good, understanding that what you started is good, it can take you further, you're loving it, you've got support, all of it applies, but it's not much of a happening, it's not much of moving forward, you only see potential. Third week tells you there's potential, whatever you started, you've got this messy potential there and see what you're going to do with it. Now, the fourth week tells me, the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Ten of, ten of Cups, it's a beautiful energy, but it is something closing down. Definitely, beginning at an end of March, it's a closing down something. Perhaps all of it, all of it, the whole month is about that energy. Closing down something, <sighs> Or you related to your family, to your friends. Maybe you have to move out of the house. Maybe you have to move out of... Maybe you, you're closing down some situation that you really enjoyed. Th those were people that you really love. You surrounded yourself. You, you were together with people that you really love. It was something that fulfills you, whatever situation it was. People at work. Your children at home. Whatever. There is something that was really made you happy. Ten of Cups always tells me from there, whatever ten, you will from there, from there, take something with you, take this cup with you, so you're going to close down, so maybe you can move on with these ideas, but you have to still close it down, that it wasn't all finished at the beginning, by the end of the month you actually close in the complete cycle, in a nice way, in a perfect way, nightmare card underneath you fear and I understand this fear now talking these energies in in uh, this month I understand end of the month this fear uh, and understand indecisiveness however we see uh, something is coming for us and it seems beautiful it see, it's still something that seems beautiful and you do have something that is nice for you already but you have to leave it behind you have to move forward this things that you decide that you don't want to that's fine but these things it's perhaps difficult to just forget and leave behind something you have to take from there and this nightmare this fear card how you gonna go forward what is gonna happen was your life difficult before something nightmare and fear of this what's coming next is definitely there within you that's within you you're closing down this chapter you know it it's something maybe maybe really will make you cry this you know the whole i see it very emotional i see this march somehow very emotional are you leaving your family to move overseas or you're doing business or something is something is happening in your life taurus it's too many of you out there and it's going to be many different things but i really see this march very emotional for you anyway i really hope that you're gonna enjoy your 